Okay, so what we're doing here is just um, making the coving or the radius um, on the inside of the mould. So as um, Rob's explained, this will be the inside of the mould, which will ultimately be the outside of the combing. So this finished area here is going to be on the top of your combing board, which is what you're going to see. Okay, so basically we're just, like I said, putting that coving in there. And um, for that we're just using um, just some moulding plasticine, I guess you call it. Very simple job to do, really. Um, and a coving tool or a radius. Um, you can use anything you like for that radius, depends on, on what... Um, you know, how, how big you watch your radius there. I think that was a 95 cent uh, scraper from Bunnings, wasn't it, Luke? Yeah, yeah, just something something cheap and easy, but like I said, you can use a whole heap of, whole heap of things, and basically that um, that curve or that radius there is going to be the, the the corner or so of our, of our combing um, on the outside. Right, so what we do, we just get a piece of moulding plasticine, take a bit off, and it's all good fun. Back to, back to the childhood days, playing with it, a bit like Play-Doh, but you know, haven't tried eating any of this stuff, got a bit out of that phase. So, like we do make a bit of sausage, push it into the corner there, so it's all nice and firm in there like that. What we have to remember here too is that neither Luke or I are, are professional boat builders or, or anything like that, we just know what they what we want to end up with and we're um, doing our best to, to try and produce something that looks fairly swish at the end of the day hopefully just diving in and having a go okay so we pushed our um, molding plasticine into the corner and then with your coving tool basically you're just scraping that away with a nice bit of pressure on there pulling it down there you go pretty simple what you want to do just maybe another another swipe nice and hard and that's all you've got to do um, occasionally you might end up with a little bit of extra on each side that you can just scrape over but um, this is just a, a one-off mold so it's not going to be hundred percent perfect um, when we take it out of the mold so we're going to have to do a little bit of detailing and um, you know to make our combing board look hundred um, percent but that's not too hard any imperfect any imperfections that we get from a mold here onto our combing board. Basically it's just a matter of um, wet and drying, getting a nice smooth surface on your gel coat there, because this would be filled with gel coat first, then fiberglass. And that gel coat will allow us to um, be able to sand it back, make it smooth, buff it up and polish it and it should be 100% and you'll you know, look a million bucks. Well that's the plan anyway.